This is part two of the three-part Bradley line. Part three will be available tomorrow. All right, now we have a Bradley. Let's check it out. Upgrades. There are upgrades too, so the fun doesn't end here. Okay, so what is the deal? There's a second tow launcher. Man, a third actually. Is that correct? Oh no, that's the Bushmaster. Okay. All right, so there's a you have two this is the thing about the Bradley the Sheridan has one has one barrel so you, you're either launching a rocket or a shell from the same barrel and if you change ammo you have to it, it re loads literally and takes 13 seconds or whatever here you have two gun systems one Bushmaster 25 millimeter and one tow launcher so yes, there's two different gun upgrades, which is fantastic. Turret module, man, it's gonna it's gonna drain me. 3.6, 2 million, so that's 5.6. Another 2 million, 7.7 .7 total. When you add all these up, it's 7.7 .7 million for those. As you can see, I don't have anywhere near 7.7 .7 million, but I will have money by the time it comes around to doing this because I'll be making money so that's not a problem even though I still have to put two million of equipment in this dude for sure but I'm just looking at the stuff you get a second radio I never buy it I just hold out for the third one it don't make that much difference it does make a difference in your you know spotting and what have you so it will make a little bit of difference but it doesn't make five hundred thousand silver worth of difference to me i'd rather keep the 500,000 silver and end up buying the third radio which is the final radio for the same price and i'm good with that oh my god look at this numbers 34,000 for that 60,000 to get the suspension 92,000 to get the engine so that jacks you up to 69 kilometers per hour Jeez, turtle beak, yeah, 3.6 million. Okay, so we have work ahead. Now, guess what? Bernie, Mr. Mr. Uh, well, he's, he calls himself Mr. Magoo, but I don't say you're Mr. Magoo. You know, Ebenezer Scrooge is more like it. Ebenezer Scrooge, free experience his way all the way through this because he could. He had the, the excess. I'm going to play this like a man. Now, what I'm going to do here. Is I'm not insane. This is 2000. Yeah, whatever, dude. Goodbye. We'll take that slot right there. Okay. What are we going to put on this Bradley? Well, this dude goes 61 and it's going to go 69. Um, it's an eight point engine upgrade. So whatever we jack this up to, and we can jack this up to 10% and 10%. So that's 12, that's 73, and then we're going to get another 8. It'll go 81, which isn't great for, you know, whatever. That's good. So we're going to go speed and speed right off the bat. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I want to think speed and speed, which is tracks and engine. I like triple zoom. Uh, the problem here. Oh, yeah. So we could get 73 um, plus another 5%. So that is. What is that? Um, 3 so 76 is what we'll get out of this and it'll be left up to 84 with gas so I would like to use gas on this dude as well if we go speed and speed we'll get you know 76 which is solid mm. 
and it helps the horsepower. I'd like to have fan. The reload on this is not good. 37 second on the Bushmaster and on the tow launcher 35. But that's, that, you know, you get two shots of, of tow and then you got a god awful reload. So I'd like to have reload cut down, which means this guy. So that's what I would like to have. What is the steel concealment? Holy crud. 333, that's that's abominable. That's just horrible. Now, yeah, this is going to go down when we put our commander. But we're just going to work on this. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going with what I know. Two eighty-seven. Okay. Let me go back out. It forces the recalculations. Okay, so definitely going to go with gold repairs. Going to go with rations for the temporary tem temporarily because rations will affect the camo. This will also affect the camo. In fact, this will affect it big time. Two eighty-seven. Now, hey. It should have affected the camo, but it didn't. That's bizarre. Okay, well, we'll jack with that later. I might go with gas. I don't know what the... Uh, 253, that's fantastic. Well, relatively speaking. So let's take this out. It should have affected it. It, it doesn't on this one, and that's really bizarre. Okay. Fine, I'm not worried about that. That means I'm going gasoline, baby. Okie dokie. Now we're going to get another steel concealment drop. Let me go get this uh, Commander Mary from the Stingray. Sorry, we put her in the Sheridan. That's it. That was with an S. It was close. All right. Ve vehicle assignment. We're going to assign her to the Bradley. All right. It's not here. It's on the next page or the page after that. Nope. It's not here because these are the premiums are all Green Nation and these are all blue standards. Wait, where are they? Oh. It is a standard. Durr, right there. I was trying to find a blue premium. I just got it from the tech tree. It's not going to be premium. Stupid. Okay. Any mistakes were made. Man, I ain't hunting this down. Go to the tree. Click on the dude. Take you right to your tank. Secrets of the pros. Shooter. Okay. Bradley. So what did it do? It knocked it down again. 231. This does look like this will be the lowest it will go. Because now it will go. It should drop. And it's a good question. Will it drop? It, it will drop for sure when we do this. Oh, actually, we already had that on there. Yeah. Okay. So it should drop if we put on the fan. But that's going to jack with our speed. Oh, I hate. Can't go down much, though. One or two, realistically. 231, 230 gives a crud. So, that is a toughie. I got to think about this. So... Scientifically, I'd like to know what the maximum steel concealment is. Here's the dealio. If I go with speed and speed, it's going to cost me to find out later. And then if I don't like it, go back. It's going to cost me more than if I just cut out the middleman and find out if this makes a substantial difference. 
now. I can always delay. Makes a difference of one. I've seen that happen before, so. But you never know. But we know now. So, right now we've got this dude set for absolute minimum concealment. We're going to go with speed here. And this is going to get us 64 or 70. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 64. Well, it's actually going to be 70 and change. If we go up here to the engine, it'll tell us 70.69. So it's almost 71. But anyway, so we got 70 speed. And we're going to get an 8-speed bump from this guy. As you can see, well, it's not quite 8, but it's 79.9. That's 80. Okay, whatever. Tomato, tomato. All right. I'm going to get a seven point whatever speed bump on that guy. Now, so now what we got to do here is go to premiums and get those. Okay. What is the magazine capacity on this guy? It's probably one, probably 150. Magazine capacity. 300. No, 1500 total. Oh, 300 is what it is. Yeah, 300 shots per clip. So, let's go and make sure we get one clip, or one magazine full of this crazy ammo here that I probably won't be using. Who knows? We're getting there eventually. All right, almost done. 300. Fantastic. And that is what? Heat ammo. Does more damage, but less penetration. Okay. And we'll go with that. And what about rockets? Do we have premium rockets? We do. So standard penetration 630, premium penetration is 800. Trust me on this one. You go with maximum penetration. You're going to pay, but you don't want... It's terrible when you shoot a rocket and it does no damage. So, whatever, dude. Oh, actually, we are... I made a mistake. It's not 231 concealment. It's 230 concealment. I mean, it's not 230 minimum. It's 230 plus our camos. Now let's shove a camo on this dude. I'm not going to, you know. Now, if this tank turns out to be a butt kicker, I would eventually get permanent camo down the road. Historical Korea. Yeah. That's okay. That's usually historical Korea looks different. So that was very interesting. All of drab is okay. I, I'm good with that, but this one looks kind of awesome because the pattern is look is usually different on other tanks. It varies from tank to tank. So I like that historical Korea in general. I I like the way it looks there. I don't like that. It's too light. What is this? Tropical two-tone. That's actually not bad. But, you know what? I'm going with historical Korea because the way it looks is different. Desert. Those are always hit and miss. Now, the dogs is a very desert, but this one just looks a little goofy. That's all right. Red desert. Not bad. Man, that's pretty good. What about this dude? Also not bad. Chocolate chip is an American camo. So that's an American tank. So that's cool. This one's all right. It's just a little pinkish for me. NATO Desert Tan is all right. 
it's a little washed out. I'd prefer this is probably red desert probably looks the coolest. Yeah, this one usually looks different. But again, this tank has a different look to it. Ah, too, you know, too weird. Gray desert, that's not bad. It's not, I don't know where the gray comes in. What it is, it's a little, it's a little toned down. The colors are less, you know, thick and vibrant. It's the same as this one. Doing it as fast as I can. You see this has a little more zing to it. There's a little more yellowish in the tan. And the brown is a little different color as well. So here, it's a little muted. So that's why I call it gray. I, I'm, I'm going with this gray. I like that. As an art guy, I'm t that's how I could tell you all that stuff. But, this is dropping it down to 202. Now we're talking some business. So this is one of the things I wanted to do, was to have a record of all of this stuff. Because oh, I had to remember for a couple of weeks, maybe. But, I wanted to make a video. Oh man, that's nice. I like these dark olives. Uh, variations for urban hard to beat this one in my in my mind look at this this will look awesome but well, you know this is an okay one I don't like this it's a little too grid for me and this is a little too wavy this isn't bad I don't care for digitals myself but if you like them this one's kind of awesome but I'm like, eh, I don't like the digital. This isn't bad. Again, a little wavy. I don't like this wave pattern on the side uh, protectors. That's just a personal deal. How about this one? No. Same one. One of the ones I like on other tanks is the um, Shatter. The Shatter Urban is really good. But, yeah, for me, this is another good one. Urban Transparent. This is a solid... It depends, you know, you have a little bit, you see a little bit of wear here on the side of the tank skirt, uh, tread skirt protector. That's cool. You know, if it, you know, to me, it's like if that, if the wear on the front of the hood also looks cool, keep this. It's a, you know, tomato, tomato. What about this one? Oh, that's at zero. And eh, it's okay. I like this. This is the kind that, that appeals to me. All right. So here we go. We are, whoops, see and Vinny, that's what we're doing. So here we are, 202. This is lower. No, I'm sorry. The Sheridan was a, was 187. Okay. And actually, I think it's 186 if you have the fan. Because you, the, as you saw, the fan gave us, at that level, it gave us one improvement. So I believe... I believe that 202, this is the lowest you can get because this employs every trick that I know about camouflage, which is how I got the 35, which is the minimum on the weasel. So this is what I'm looking for. Minimum still concealment because I've got this dude, well... I don't have this. I'm, I'm probably what I will probably do. This is my own personal opinion and how my style. I'm going to play this as it is. All right. But I'm probably going to drop the fan for the triple zoom because I'm only should lose only one 202, 201. Who gives a crud? Okay. Got to keep it family friendly, you know. So, I don't want people, wa I don't want kids watching this and have grandma come in and, you know, fill in the blank. My videos are pretty simple. If grandma catches you watching my video, there's nothing bad going on. I don't want people to look at my videos and go, oh, that guy speaks terrible. I don't do that in videos. That's horrible. It's also not very proper. 
Anyway, so, yes, rocket sniping. I want to check the reload. Reload time on Bushmaster, 300 rounds is 27 seconds and change. Okay, R. Right now, we have set this to maximum or minimum reload time. That's what the fan does. The fan will minimize your reload time. Fan with reload. My commander has the reload. Actually, we could go possibly less on the reload. You'll get a slightly... Here, let me show it to you. First, let's again. 27.68 and 26.19. Now, we're going to take this off. Put in the rations. It's going to drop it. We go back here to the garage. Now go back in. Reload was 27.68. So that's gone down. And then 26.19. This is your minimum reload numbers for the Bradley. So the rockets are 24.89. Now we've, we've lost some speed. Okay. So this is the thing. What you have... Is a is a you know it's a six of one half a dozen of the other. You can have minimum reload, minimum steel concealment, and minimum speed, or maximum speed. The best the best reload time, the best steel concealment number, which these are minimums, and then the best speed is higher. Okay, so the maximum speed. So we're gonna just we're gonna say the best, meaning the best version of each. So here. This is the best reload time we can get, and our speed is suffering to the point of 67 instead of, what, 70, whatever it is. be 70, probably 3, I think is what it would be. Steel concealment is now down to an even 200. We're going to get, so this has got our best concealment, and this is also, best concealment also gives you best reload because that's the rations and the fan adding to the reload here as well as the commander's reload which is right here all right and this is your concealment this is your one of the things that's a real trigger on your concealment now we also have fire prevention and we'll look at the fire numbers here in a second and then we also have resistance to crew damage I don't have any first aid on here. This is another sacrifice. You're, there's sacrifices you have to choose. So my sacrifice here is to get the pain tolerance. It works very well for the, you know, rocket guys. So let's go here. Our turret rotation speed is also nasty at 66. That's a really good number. So we're looking for, man, oh, fire. Internal fire has dropped to 7.05. So that's pretty awesome. Now, if you don't have the Bradley, you could go to your tech tree, you know, click on the X on Xbox. So we go here, for example, if you don't have the Bradley, you can confirm this. I can't confirm it anymore right now. But you could click on the X. Like I'm going to click on the X here on Xbox. That would be square on PlayStation. And this would show you this screen. And in this screen, you can click the Y for Xbox or triangle for PlayStation. And this will give you your stats screen. Okay. And this how is how you could compare these the numbers, the stock numbers. I have lost the stock numbers now. On the Bradley but I've showed you how to get the stock numbers on your console when you don't have the Bradley so you can compare these numbers to the numbers on your actual stock console uh, your console data that's the stock for this for this vehicle so we're making it's a constant it's a juggling act so right now we're juggling this to go best concealment and best reload our speed could be better, but, you know, whatever. And also, our crew safety could be better by adding first aid. But you have three consumables. 
if we take off this smoke, guess what? It jacks, you know, jacks with our steel concealment. It goes from 200 to dun, 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 238. Now, you could try this and, you know, down the road, you could try this yourself and figure out how much steel concealment do I really need. I can tell you that 186 from the Sheridan works really well. So 200 is going to work well. Does two, does two, uh, whatever, 30, 238? That I don't know if that's really bad or if it's still, you know, really good. I don't know where the, you know, there's going to be an imaginary line of demarcation. Is it 250? Is it 200? Is it 280 or 300? I don't know. You know, you could test that and you probably will have to test it for your own personal business. Me, I'm going to start with maximum concealment. Now, like I said, I'm probably going to use triple zoom down the road, but you can be very effective with double zoom. Don't worry about that. So there's a chance I don't change this because it'll just depend on how this tank feels when I'm moving and what my engagements are. So what I'm going to do with this guy is I'll have to play games and get some more data elsewhere. But I'm right now considering whether I'm going to make this video um, end here or, you know, add game footage. Probably should add one game footage just, you know, to keep it good so I think I'll do that I think I'm gonna pause this video and get some game footage you know at least one game to make it you know like a complete package and then I'll be back for you within within mere seconds for me it'll take a little bit longer because I gotta play the game so see you soon okie dokie I am back so I was very lucky and got two wins. So I'm going to show you the one where my tank did the best um, because it's kind of slow. And so it's not really very mobile. And so I'm not used to that. So, you know, eh, whatever. But I had some minor successes, but... You know, it's just it's a matter of getting used to what you're doing because this the whole rocket stuff is a little oddball. And then combined with this tank, which realistically doesn't fit my preferred style of play. You know, like the Sheridan. But you have an actual gun. You know, it's a chain gun, which is fun to use. They're not super awesome in power, but... At least they do damage. I mean, this dude does play like a little bit slower version of the Stormer 30, if that helps. So that's what the testing told me right off the top, was that it's like a Stormer 30, but slower, and it's going to take getting used to. But once again, I know this is an awesome tank, because I played with this, I played a game the first time I saw it in action up close. On my team, there was a guy who lived in Mexico, and that guy was just awesome. He had a game where he made six kills, took zero damage. Now, the game ended, he killed the last guy when the guy had a shot, come, a rocket coming at him. But he killed him before the rocket hit. So, even though he would have taken damage, that game ended without him taking damage. So, that's the thing. It was an awesome game because that guy, I watched him, and he just killed people like it was child's play. And, and I was just watching him, like, how, how are they just not seeing this guy? He just he would just drive around. It doesn't go super fast, you know. Like right now, my guy is set for, what, 70. That's not super fast. I mean, that that's the fastest it can go. His was clearly fully upgraded. Now, mine is not, obviously. I have no upgrades at all, you know, except the fourth equipment slot, which I got right from the get-go because, come on. So, there's no way I'm going to match that. That six-kill game that he did was just unbelievable. 
And I told, I sent him a message. I said, "Man, that was a great game that you played." And he was like, "Thank you and greetings from Mexico." <laughs> so it was really awesome. Super nice guy. So that was like the first time I was like, "Man, there's something to this Bradley." But that that chain of tanks you have to go through. It's a daunting list when you're like, oh, man, I got to go through this. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Hopefully it's worth it. I don't know. That's why I'm doing the video. So let me get you this game. Okay. It was not to tease you or anything. It's just that this video was over 90 minutes. And I had to break it up into like 30-minute chunks. And this was the best place to break it up. So that's what you see. You'll see the conclusion tomorrow and it'll be fine. I just had to do it this way, not trying to do anything funny to give you the cliffhanger. So it was either that or... It takes forever to load a longer video, so that's why I broke it up into three. It takes like an hour to do a half an hour video anyway to upload. So I apologize if this seems cheesy, because that's not the intent. So please come back tomorrow, and I'll be ready to rock.